that part? Well, the, 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 the difficulty is, um, do you know how to operate it? Well, I need to copy that and just go to the internet with that. I get it, I get it. It's, it shows it's blue, but it doesn't show that it's acceptable. I just need to go to that website. Control and click it, that should take it to the browser. copy from up there, not Tom, you have your browser set up on the to find Could have had two laptops so with, that, with that. Uh, could have had that website. There you go. Okay. antenna, you'll need to know the length of your coax, you'll need to know the bands, the modes, and the duty cycles, and the duty cycles, I just took the default, I didn't worry about that, but you'll need to know your bands and modes that you want to operate on. You'll want to know what your, uh, your uh, SWR is, and I just use one to one, I want to make this as onerous, I want to make this as easy for me as possible, and I want to take the, the, I'll take the largest error I can get. Well, I'll just assume a one-to-one. -one. Well, I know it's not near that good. And then how much power that you intend to use. Well, if you're a 100 watt radio, I just use 100 watts. If you've got an amplifier, then you may need to, to do that calculation. For example, um, I have three antennas, an in-fed halfway, hopefully one of these days, an off-center fed dipole, and a quarter wave vertical. I'm going to use all the bands, 80, 60, 40, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, and 6, 2 meter, and 70 centimeter. Everything is phone. I'm not smart enough to use digital or CW or any of that. And the HF is 100 watts, and my, my VHF is 25 watts. I know that my distance, I've got two operating positions in my shack and on the back porch. And that the, the, the half wave, I mean the high, the high frequency and the 6 meter, is more than 40 feet. I didn't measure it, I just got 40 feet and said that's far enough. And the nearest from my deck is 25 feet, and then the VHF is more than six feet. I've got a tray pull up the attic, so it's more than six feet. All of this you should be able to just off the top of your head to know. You go to this website right here, and I'll have Tom send these out. Uh, What you've got is a list of different coax types. So what I did, and we'll just take this very, this very first one. And it defaults to that very first one. So I'll just take that one as an example. The line length that was the hundred was a um, hundred feet. I'll just take 10 frequency, you can plug this in whatever frequency you're using. I pick the load, the one to one, and 100 watts. And when you hit calculate, it tells you that you have your power out is 82 watts. And that's, that's what you need to know. So then, let me go to, top, I mean, uh, Steve, I may need your help again. Let's see. 